it is not just kids that you actually help and get interested into chess, right? Right. Yeah, the, the, the name of the charity is Chess in Schools and Communities. So we also do chess in public libraries, and we also do a, a program in prisons. I've got all sorts of interesting experiences I've had inside British prisons, mm -hmm. uh, uh, meeting all kinds of, how can I say, interesting people. And um, we, have, uh, we have chess club going on in seven prisons. We managed to enter uh, a team into the World Internet Championship for prisons, which is great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really enjoy the, the time spent in prisons, if only because the prisoners are incredibly grateful. They're, they're so happy that people are doing things for them. And uh, what, there, there are, I would say, broadly speaking, two kinds of prison in the UK. Um, there's new modern prisons, uh, which are very, very nice and, and, you know, I would say are fit for a human being to live in. But there are also some prisons built in Victorian times, uh, to, you know, in, not, not, even, uh, not even in the 20th century, but in the 19th century. And these are awful places. And we, we've worked in some of those places. And uh, the, the chess is, well, first of all, the prison governors like it because it gives the prisoners something to do. It gives them something to do that's constructive. And uh, it helps feed into the, the attempts of the prison education system to make these people more employable Mm -hmm. And also, prisoners like it because it's, uh, it, it kills the time. So um, mm -hmm. I, I could tell you a story. I'll give you a little sort of English slang expression. So I was doing a simultaneous in one prison in, in, uh, in South London. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, it was slightly depressing because I met one of the prisoners in the simul. I'd met him in, a, in another prison a few years ago. So he'd obviously uh, <laughs> wow. re-offended as they say, or maybe he'd been transferred, I don't know. He didn't come and, to, uh, to play the simul. He yeah, said especially. to me, yeah, he <laughs> said, well, I played a simul against him in Wandsworth, and I was playing a simul against him in Thamesmead, you know, a different, two different <laughs> prisons. He goes, Mr. Payne, he said, Mr. Payne, he, he speaks very, very landed accent, you know, very landed mm -hmm. accent. He goes, Mr. Payne, he goes, I love this chess. I said, well, why, why do you love this chess? He goes, it's a bird killer. A bird killer. Now, when he said bird killer, it doesn't mean that he picks up the chess pieces, <laughs> throws yes. them at the birds in the sky and kills them. Bird, bird is a slang expression in, in prison for being in prison. So what uh. he's saying is, you know, it makes the, it makes the time, it makes the time go away. Uh, so there, there are all sorts of very, very positive things uh, about chess in prisons. And, and actually during the pandemic, we, we changed our approach. So we couldn't go into the prison, but what we've been doing is sending puzzles and exercises and books into 40 prisons in the UK, uh, which, is, which is very good. And now we've just got permission to get uh, chess.com in a couple of prisons. Oh, so really? prisoners will be able to actually play chess. Uh, obviously, it's very carefully controlled. Of course, you know, we don't want a bank robbery being organized on chess.com. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, the, security, the security measures have been checked. And uh, I think this is going to really boost the chess in, uh, chess in prisons program significantly.